What's up YouTube? Sorry for the late video. I had been on vacation for a week. It's actually been a month. I'm really sorry. But uh been kind of busy. Finally get the vlog up. I finally found out what movie I've decided to review on and I just recently gone and seen Wolfman. Unfortunately, it was not worth the money. You believe in curses? Fresh pros. The scenery was great, and the acting was great. Uh, I'm not sure who played in it. There wasn't any big names except for the guy who played in The Matrix, you know, multiplying guy. Unfortunately, those were kind of my only pros, which is kind of sad, because the rest of the movie didn't live up to anything that it, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a great reboot for any werewolf stuff. But I only think this movie will be a one shot. They should not make any more, any more, no sequels at all. Starting with cons. Well, the action sequences were somewhat great, though the the action, I don't know, it was like it was cheesy, as me and my friend put it. Like, it, you, they'd run by and all of a sudden you'd see like some guy's arm missing in a sequence or some guy yelling with his leg cut off because the werewolf would go by so quickly you didn't see him. Or it would be the actual werewolf like tearing out his guts in front of the screen, which somewhat cool, but then it was like not needed at any point. And sometimes it was almost comical, like you'd laugh afterwards. At least I did. It's kind of sad. I'm not that bad of a person. It's just funny. <laughs> it was actually like they took the old, what was it, 40s? No, not 40s, like 50s or 60s movies. And touched up the graphics a bit, made the scenery better. But the werewolf in it looked exactly the same as the old movies. Other than the transformation sequence where, you know, he's grown into his werewolf form. Was kind of cool and, you know, CGI-like. But other than that, it looked like old special makeup effects. You'd think in a new age movie they'd try to spiff it up a bit, not look exactly like you did back then. So basically I give this movie a two and a half out of five. Darkest hours of hell lie before you. Run free. Kill or be killed. Time for zombie tips. Uh, get higher, girl. Uh, first off, what I tell everyone, which is very, very important. Yes, a chainsaw is so fun to use. Makes loud noise. Chop up zombies. It's great. But then again, when it comes to survival, if you're stuck in a horde of zombies, you're not going to live very long. Two choice of weapons of mine is a revolver. It packs a punch, but it's easy to handle and easy to carry. And you can find bullets at any store. Second gun, shotgun, of course. Only used in large crowds. Do not use on one zombie. That's all I have to say for today. But I promise I will be getting back to you guys soon. And again, subscribe. And thank you all for who's subscribed by now. After I've only put up, what, like three videos? That's pretty good. Anyway, subscribe. And of course, I want to be your friend. Wow. Um, that was my brother, and that happens when you do a vlog with your brother home. And thanks again for watching. Jetfire out.